First off, here we have is Bagger from Fighting the Frozen Page Punchers. This one is the rarest to get from the wave since um, it comes with Batman, Mr. Freeze, Robin, and obviously Batgirl. And you will most likely see the other three and not Batgirl. Batgirl is like the most rarest one to get. Um, so for, so far, she's going around to $30 to $40. And her pricing is around um, 25 bucks since it doesn't come included with a comic book. Next up here we have is Catwoman from Batman Arkham City. Now this one just like the uh, Batgirl I believe is the rarest ones is the rare ones to get and also the most wanted figure from this wave. Right now she's going uh, around for forty to fifty dollars, and that's not including the extra pieces to complete the Solomon Grundy. Um, so I, I was not able to find one in package, um, so it probably go more if it's if, it, if she was in, in package so let me know down in the comments if you are able to find one in package and tell me the pricing done in the comments uh, so next up here we have is supergirl now this one is gold labeled and she is a target exclusive this one is now going for 40 to 50 dollars almost the same as batman arkham city catwoman now this one was not very popular just due to um her not looking like the source material. Uh, they, they didn't let my friend didn't let this um, figure for some reason have skin, show skin on her legs. Um, although the comic book, she does show um, skin on her legs. Uh, so yeah, first it was not a very popular figure, but looks like now it's going for double the price. Uh, most likely because she's a target exclusive. Next up here we have is a wave, so I'm gonna be including the four figures in here. So first off here we have is Batman, um, Two-Face, Scarecrow, and the Joker. All of these are going around for $50. Original price was around $25. I think it depended where you bought them. Um, but yeah, now these guys are going for $50. Um, each one of them. So if you want to buy all four of them, it's going to be really expensive. So... So this is most likely due to um, The Dark Knight being a very, very popular uh, movie. Um, so all of these are uh, <laughs> just getting expensive. Uh, most of the figures uh, that my father releases from The Dark Knight, like the gold labels, exclus exclusives and all that, those are going up in price. But I just wanted to include this wave since this one is not very talked about that it's going up in price. Uh, so yeah, the full wave of The Dark Knight trilogy is going up in price so if you haven't so you have seen it for a good price any of these make sure to check um, make sure to get them before it's too late uh, next up here we have is Batman from Batman Justice League now this one is just the normal variant this one is just the normal release with the goggles down this one's going for 40 to 50 dollars or even more sometimes I see I see him for like 60 to 70 dollars around there uh, but Honestly, I don't know why this bat. I believe Batman is the only one, uh, excluding um Superman, which that one is a Target exclusive, uh, which that's the one that people probably know more that he's more expensive, but the Ben Affleck Batman is also getting up there around the fifties. Um, I don't know why. There's like a bunch of variants of this guy, uh, but for some reason the goggles down is, uh, getting getting there to the fifties. I don't know if this one was a very popular figure, and it's probably why he's going. For that price uh, but you guys can let me know down in the comments next up here we have is one that really surprised me and it's the um, Batman Nightfall Catwoman this one our first people were hating on on this figure like absolutely hating it I, I also did not gonna lie I, I also hated it a bit uh, just because of down there <laughs> uh, but yeah it looks like now this figure is going for around sixty to seventy dollars, which that's a big price increase for a figure that was hated. Uh, and this is most likely to the Batman Nightfall stuff that my friend has been putting out, and it's been it's been really good so far for the Batman Nightfall. Even the even the Zaz figure that's that is a my friend Toy Story exclusive. That one is also being hated right now. But uh, I believe he's still available in my friend's toy store. But I'm pretty sure that uh, my friend is known for the exclusives to 
once they sell out, they're not, they're not going to restock for a very long time. So that one might also go up in price. But this Catwoman really surprised me that she went up this high. Um, and like I said, most of these are just normal releases. Unless I said that it's a gold label. Um, but yeah, for a normal figure to go up this high, I'm really surprised. And lastly but not least, here we have is Flash Gold Label Target. Target exclusive. This guy is going for 100 to even more. I've never seen him lower than 100, probably sometimes 80. But that's really rare to see people listing this guy for around $80. Uh, this one, like I said, it was a Target exclusive. And this is like the best Flash people have I've ever seen, I guess. I honestly prefer the Rebirth one, I believe. I don't know if it's Rebirth or 50, New 52. But it was like a more skinnier Flash. Um, and uh, in all honesty, I thought I was going to see this guy in Target. And I was able to get it. But sadly, I missed out on this one. From all of them, this is the only one I missed. So I'm kind of mad at myself for not pre-ordering it when, when uh, it was available. But yeah, this guy is going for hundreds. Hopefully, once more finally uses the scope of this guy, he will probably go down a bit. Or probably once another good flash comes out, this one will go down in price. And as you can see, he does come with a build of figure for Cyborg, uh, which increases the price a bit on this figure. That's if you get him in package. Uh, but even loose, you'll be able to find him for around $100. And that's all. Let me know down in the comments if you want a part 2 for this video. I'll probably also include some planums in there. That's it. If, if you guys want, you can also let me know down in the comments if you want me to start including planums in here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.